morning, beautiful people. My name is Mercy Tom. I'm a nurse at Clearview Hospital, Lakey First Bois. And in this month, we are actually celebrating, or our focus rather is on prevention of perinatal infections. Happy New Year to you all. Thanks for giving us your attention. And um, today we quickly want to talk about prevention of perinatal infections. Now, what is perinatal infection? Perinatal infections refers to infections that can be transmitted from the mother to the baby during pregnancy, labor, or shortly after birth. Now, during pregnancy, it is advisable that you are registered in a hospital where we have trained doctors and nurses that can give you the best care you need. Now, you have to go through a series of investigations, testing to know and to detect if you have infection or not. Because early detection is the key. And also during labor, your delivery must be conducted by a trained birth attendant so that you will, you, you will be rest assured that your baby is safe as well as you, the mother. Then shortly after delivery, your baby is well taken care of and there are some steps you need to take to ensure that you are safe and your baby as well. One of the infections that can be transmitted from the mother to the baby in utero is uh, syphilis. Syphilis, as we all know, is one of the sexually transmitted infections. It can be gotten during unprotected sex, yeah, during pregnancy and even before pregnancy. Now, it has been discovered that babies are being born with congenital syphilis, meaning they have gotten it already from the mother. And this can be as a result of women not knowing that they are actually positive to syphilis. So this now boils down to early detection, because early detection is the key. When it is being discovered on time, your doctor will give you the proper treatment so as to prevent your baby from being infected. Another infection that can be transmitted from the mother to the baby is HIV. As we all know, HIV is a deadly disease that spreads very rapidly. Now, we advise that you get tested and your, as well as your partner, even before marriage. And during marriage, even before you get pregnant, you also continue with these investigations. Like I said earlier, during antenatal clinic, you have to go through these processes of testing for HIV and all the infections. Now, HIV can also be prevented. Yes, there are ways to prevent HIV. From moving from the mother to the baby. For example, when you are detected early, you will be placed on antiretroviral medications and also counseling so as to know what to do and what to stay away from. Another way is that one can be can be can, can contract HIV is sharing of sharp objects with others. It may not be known to you if the person is positive or not, but it is advisable that you do not share sharp objects with others. Also, do not um, receive blood that are not properly screened because one can also get infected from infected blood transfusion. Another way you can also get infected from HIV is through unprotected sex with an infected person. Talk to your doctor about 
um, how to manage this infections whenever the need arises. Generally, the main, that the only way to prevent perinatal infections is early detection because early detection is the key. Make sure you register in a well, in a good hospital clinic where you can be seen by a consultant or well-trained medical personnel. Then, other ways that you can prevent this um, perinatal infections are maintain good hygiene, personal and environmental hygiene, good toilet habits during toilet in order for you not to pass infection to yourself. You can wipe from front to the back and not back to the front. Now, eat good food. Stay away from unpasteurized milk, that's raw milk, and also food that are being made from it. Talk to your doctor also about um, group B streptococcus, and also ensure that you are vaccinated when the need arises. Thank you very much. On this note, we want to say thank you for staying tuned and for joining us today. And I want to encourage you to stay tuned. Join us every Thursday by 4.30 p.m. on Instagram for more educative topics on fertility focus. See you there.